morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. We are starting out the day in the playroom. I wanted to do a blog post of the playroom so we're just playing in here and shooting a few pictures. So we showed you guys putting up this wallpaper last week. It looks so cute. A lot of people were wondering why does it not touch the ceiling all the way? And it's because you think that your ceilings would be straight yeah, they're but they're not 100% straight. These ones actually are fairly straight. But in order for me to have a little bit extra like room to work with, I go a little bit below. But you can see, if you, you can't really tell on camera, but it kind of like, the ceiling is like not very straight. Yeah, like it looks straight obviously, but it's not actually like 100%. Also, there's a couple little air bubble spots that you left. I don't remember if we vlogged this, but this came uh, last week too, and it's so freaking cute. It's Poppy's Little Treasures, so same company as this one. So, it's looking so fun. I put some books on there for her. We have these shelves hung up. The only last thing I wanna do is put a picture of Cove in here from her one year pictures, and I just haven't done that yet, but I think everything else is pretty much done. It's so nice to just have like a big open space for her to play in, but yeah, we're just shooting a few pictures, so we'll set up the camera. So you guys can see that. Hello, cuteness. Cuteness. Cutest outfit. For the cutest girl. Yeah, From what? Hunger Games? Yeah. Do you want to take a few pictures and play? Cove just messed with our camera settings. It was like black and white, so I think we fixed it. Does this look normal? Does it? Are you reading? Are you reading? Oh wait, this is another thing that I updated. The one before was more of like a sienna mm. color and I swapped it for this camel one. So I think that it's super cute. But now we have the little reading corner. What are you saying? You have toothpaste book? on your Can mouth. Mom to read you a book? Oh, book? Mom to read you a book? I'll read to you. Oh, you gonna pick dad? Oh, you want me to? You're daddy's girl. Okay, so I guess I'll do kind of like an official playroom tour and just quickly go around and point out where everything is from. It's like 100% done, like I said, besides just swapping that out. Starting at the door. This is what it looks like. So I have some stuff that I just like moved out of the way. Usually I keep this on top of the fridge because that's just where I keep it. But all of the baskets are from Target. These ones are from Shop Love and Gray. And then I like to have the toys out on a shelf. So I usually switch these like every week or so so that she like thinks that they're new and interesting things. So we have lots of like puzzles and wooden toys and stuff that I feel like helps them like learn skills like stacking cups. A lot of the toys are from our panda crates which we love the kiwico panda crate so that's what probably like at least 80 percent of her toys are from i would say so i try to kind of like put them in these bins by category like this is like stacking stuff but it doesn't really matter if they're all like officially in the right spot yeah so i like to keep those in there and she does sometimes get into these but i feel like it's fine i like her to play with the ones that are out but if she gets into the other ones then it doesn't matter this mirror i think is from urban outfitters from a long time ago these are cuddle and kind little animals so i think they donate like 10 meals with every purchase or something so they're super cute we have four of those i have this little rainbow stacker that is super fun you can find this on amazon and more baskets from target the wallpaper is from loomwell like i said these two things are from poppy's little treasures and then the kitchen and fridge are from milton and goose she also has some like fake food in here that she can play with and like a pretend little blender that's fun this rug is from boutique rugs so i'll link it down below this mat is from Gather. This chair is from Pottery Barn Kids. And then these shelves are from Ikea. We just added the little cane webbing into it. This is from Amazon. I feel like I showed this last time, but in case you missed it, this is where everything is from. This sensor table is from Ikea. I think this is just from Amazon. This little thing's from Gather, so I'm gonna put, I don't have anything in here yet, but we're gonna put stuff in there. The ball pit and the balls are both from Amazon. And... Yeah, that's the playroom. It's nice because there's just like a big open area for her to like play with everything and all like the books and stuff are just from random places. So that is the official playroom tour. All right guys, so we just got a super exciting package and I wanted to uh, unbox it and show you guys. Cove wanted to do it with me as well. So she's gonna be holding on to me. Maybe she'll let me set her down. Do you wanna sit down? Do you wanna go down for a minute? <laughs> 
Here, you hold her. Trade me. This is the first like piece of camera equipment we've purchased in the last couple, couple of years. Of yeah. yeah, we haven't bought anything new for a while. So cool. Look at this. The R EOS. This is like high R5. demand. Yes, this is a really cool camera. It's got yeah. a lot of cool things. I ordered in it, it okay. online and then it was like back ordered everywhere. So I was like, okay, I'll just have to wait. And then I got on Amazon and I searched it to like just randomly see if they had it and they did. And they had like two left. So I was going to text Brad and be like, hey, if yours isn't here yet, like they have two left. And then I like put it in my car and then like clicked on it again and there was only one left. Oh. So this is like selling like crazy. Yeah. So and if you guys remember, I actually did a campaign with Canon promoting the R, the first of this these series. I'm super pumped about this thing. Look yes, at this. this is the R5. So we just sold a bunch of camera equipment that yes. we just didn't really like use that often. And we got this. Like downsized. But we downsized in size, but really upgraded because yeah. none of our other cameras could shoot in the resolution that this can shoot in. This will shoot yeah. in. Here, wait, show them the new lens. Oh yeah, and then look at this. This is the new Canon 70 to 200 millimeter lens. And unless you guys work with camera camera stuff a lot you won't really notice but this thing is probably half the size that the other yeah. one was that we actually just sold but yeah this is like half the size so it's tiny Look at that. We used to use the 1DX, which we love. It's an amazing camera, but it's just super, super huge. So we didn't really use that that often. We use it a lot for like travel stuff. So obviously with like having a baby and pregnancy and now 2020, we haven't really been actually doing a lot of like traveling stuff. So we just like hadn't used that camera in a while. We were like, okay, we need to like sell it and get something smaller. Hopefully we'll use this. I feel like we just like don't do anything cool anymore. Oh, we'll definitely use this. And Especially because it's don't have so anything much smaller. Yeah. Can, this is like so much more discreet and easy to take into like public places and use to vlog slash get a cool montage too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So our two favorite lenses, if anybody is interested, on, actually we never use the 70 to 200 only because with our old setup with the giant camera and how big that lens is, it was just like a lot. Like yeah. the quality is amazing. The shots are amazing. It's a great lens because it basically zooms in really far. So you can kind of like be farther away and get just like really beautiful shots. But we decided to sell the one we had and get the smaller one even though we didn't use it that often But I think that with it being so much smaller we will use it But the other lens that we use all the time for like probably oh wait, but is this for the R? That's for the R. So oh, okay. So yeah, let's just it. put this one. So what we have is the 24 to 105 So this is what we this got one when came we... with my R. Yeah, when Parker did the campaign for the first R and The other one that we really like to use is the 16 to 35 Ooh. But we have the one for like like the 5D, so it's a different mount. So we just have like an adapter thing. So we didn't want to buy two of like the same lens. Probably most people don't even like know what I'm talking about or care. But if I'm you pumped. like cameras, then you will know. So we're just gonna use the 16 to 35 we already have with an adapter so it will fit on this camera because it has a different mount. This is a mirrorless camera. Okay guys, a little update. Don't even remember what we last vlogged, but it is 4 p.m. I'm getting Cove's laundry basket. Love this angle. I look amazing. <laughs> but I'm getting her up from her nap. <laughs> And we're gonna put away her laundry. I just got a blog post up for her playroom. Um, if you guys want to look at that, I'll link it down below. But I just posted all the pictures we took today and linked some stuff. Good morning. Yeah. <gasps> Your puppy, Luma. She's so excited for you to be awake. Good morning. Aw. Should I turn off your sound machine? Good morning. Okay, I was gonna put away Cove's laundry, but she is a little bit sad because I think she needs a snack. Are you hungry? I have been loving these pretzels. These are cauliflower pretzels. Oh, you want one? You can have one. And then this chocolate. Whoa! This chocolate coconut peanut butter. You don't want those? Oh, what's the matter? Here. Oh, some toddler sass. Lately. Do you want grapes? She loves grapes lately. Does this sound good? Okay, let's wash them and cut them. Wanna help me? You gotta wash them. And you gotta cut them, huh? These grapes are too big. There you yeah. go. Those are so yummy. She's very into snacks lately. She actually figured out how to push her little like dining chair over to the fridge and she literally went and like opened the fridge by herself the other day looking for food. Hey, did you snack? Okay, anyways, this peanut butter chocolate stuff is so good. Super easy tutorial. Just dip the pretzel. 
Well done. Okay, I thought I would show you guys. Obviously, laundry is not that exciting, but if anyone is wondering like how much laundry having a baby is, then I'm going to show you. So these are our towels. This isn't really her laundry, and these are our guest sheets because Parker's brother was here this week. I also washed her sheet, and this is all the laundry. We usually do like three loads a week, and we always do it on Monday. Parker's in charge of the laundry, so he just like does it every Monday, and we usually have three loads, or I feel like it can fit in two, but he likes to like do the towel separate or something. I don't even know, but this is how much extra laundry we have from having a baby, so I feel like it's not that much, but <laughs> maybe it is. So anyways, I'm gonna put this away, and then I'll show you guys like what it looks like. Okay, all finished with the laundry. I don't know, does anyone find this interesting that I'm like showing you how I store Cope's clothes and like how I put them away and stuff? I feel like I love to watch like random people talk about stuff like this, but anyways, I wanted to show you guys how many clothes that I currently have for her. Obviously she has more that are like smaller sizes, but I feel like one thing people always say, which she definitely has a lot of clothes, but people talk about how babies like need so many clothes. Cope has a lot, but I feel like not like tons and tons and tons compared to other Instagram and YouTube babies that I've seen their closets. I also was about to say, like oh we're not people who like fold our laundry and then I was like wait I'm literally sitting here like folding her clothes so I feel like when I have more than one baby realistically I will not sit and like fold all the clothes and stuff so they're perfect because who has the time but right now I do have a little bit of time so this is probably like 90% of her clothes or maybe even like 95 I think the only thing that's dirty is like one or two things and what she has on but this is how many PJs that I have for her right now so she has plenty of PJs I probably won't buy pajamas for quite a while because I think these are like 18 month size and I just got her a few new footed ones for the winter. I can probably put away these, honestly. I think I'm gonna put these away. These are like onesies and it's too cold right now. Anyways, she has like probably a little over 10 pairs of pajamas. So that is definitely plenty. I usually have her wear PJs like twice before we wash them because I don't know about you guys, but I wear my PJs way more than twice. Not way more than twice, but like at least a couple times before they get washed as well as like any other clothes. And she has a few swimsuits that I'm actually gonna also put away because it is winter. Putting them inside this bin. This is what her closet looks like right now. Bins of all our stuff. I also need to get her more like winter shoes. She has two pairs of these little sandals that are from Old Navy, but they're not great for like the cold. Then she has a couple of these outfits that are a little bit summery, but I just haven't put them away yet. And then this is where I've mostly been kind of like getting into everything. So these ones are sets. This is a top, this is a pullover. And then these are like leggings and shorts and stuff. So she has quite a few pairs of everything, but yeah, I'm gonna try not to get more. I'll just get sent stuff sometimes. And I'm like, everything's cute. I really want it, but I'm gonna try not to buy more unless it's like something she really needs. Like I just bought her a coat. She's got a few of these little like oversized pullover romper things. I think she has like three or four of those because I've been sent some. So they're super, super cute. And they're just like a really easy practical outfit. And then she has a few normal like pullover things from Zara that I just pair with leggings and a few extra like bed sheets and sleep sacks and stuff. And then she has a couple sweaters over there. So that is how I store her stuff and what she currently has. Now I'm gonna put away all these towels and I think Lauren's coming over. So they'll be excited to get to play with Pippa. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I'm pretty sure these pants are launching soon on Look and Gray so they're not up yet, but they just are like light and super, super comfy, high-waisted, go with literally everything. So when these are up, you guys should definitely get a pair, but I just have it paired with this comfy yellow pullover and I just tuck the front in. And yeah, this is like a super simple, comfy outfit of the day. Okay, so Lauren is here, Pip is here. We just ate some dinner, we made some vegan pasta, it was so good. And I told Lauren that today randomly, I did not get this, but we got our groceries delivered and they for some reason gave me like normal chocolate milk and we don't even buy like cow's milk. Anyways, then Lauren is telling me how she loves chocolate milk and I'm like, no, I never like that. Me and my siblings never like that. And I'm she's saying, like, yeah, and then you put it in the microwave and it's hot chocolate. What no, is, it's not. What is the difference between the recipe like of other chocolate stuff. milk and not? hot chocolate. It's there cocoa and milk, milk and sugar. That's all it is. No. People heat up chocolate milk. I'm saying that I do sometimes. Is that okay with you no. to drink hot chocolate? That's not hot chocolate. That's heated up it. chocolate milk. I said, what is the difference? I'm gonna Google it. Difference between... Well, one is cold and one is hot. Hot chocolate and chocolate milk. The difference, hot chocolate requires milk, sugar, and cream apart from the chocolate. The ingredients are heated until the chocolate melts and mixes with the milk. 
Wait, oh, this is why hot chocolate is better than hot cocoa. <laughs> chocolate milk has no water in it. Hot chocolate is cocoa powder and so water. So you're saying that you like watery hot chocolate? It's not watery. Okay, I'm anyways, saying. comment of the day. Do you like chocolate milk? I do not. I never have. Like the girls at Starbucks, they get a cold chocolate. What is it? It's hot chocolate with ice in it to make a chocolate milk. I think the average like hot chocolate and chocolate milk have different ingredients. Mm -hmm. I don't like hot chocolate when it's made with milk, I think. Mm -hmm. I usually get, think of like swig hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. I get it, don't you get it made with water? You, you like hot chocolate made with water over like a, like a- Should we go to swig? And should we get one? Sure, but okay. you're gonna definitely lose now. No, I'm not. We're doing something fun in the vlog, guys. We're finally leaving the house. We're doing an activity. We're gonna go do an experiment. Dude, I'm we're gonna, gonna get win. a hot chocolate like, made with water and one made with milk and we're gonna see what's we better. We can do it. I don't like a milk substitute. Okay, That's like what almond I'm saying. milk or yes. something. Okay. Um, can I get a hot chocolate? Can I also get hot chocolate made with almond milk? Almond milk. Um, what, what milk options do you have? So what is your hot chocolate made with? Just water and like hot chocolate milk. I told you. You told me what, can we just get that? Okay, we just got back. I thought I was gonna film in the car because I thought we'd do the taste test in there. But we went to Swig and Lauren asked for a hot chocolate made with water and then one made with milk and they didn't even have milk to make it with. So this also kind of turned into a different argument now. At first it was, can you heat up chocolate milk and call it hot chocolate? I say no, Lauren says yes. So we're gonna do another experiment later when we have like, cause we have this chocolate milk but we don't really like cow's milk. So we're gonna do it with almond milk. And then it turned into, is hot chocolate better with milk or water? I'm not saying it's better with water. I'm saying it's just good. Anyways, that was a little bit of a fail. Let's go.